I am seeing more cases of poison ivy in my practice and it's also been reported to be on the rise throughout the world. Some people are theorizing that it could have to do with changes in the atmosphere, that as levels of CO2 have gone up, even by very small amounts, the growth rate and the allergenic potential or the obnoxiousness of poison ivy increases. So it's the oil on the leaves that causes the problem and that has a couple of implications. The first is, if the oil gets on your clothing, the clothing can cause problems down the road. So if you do get in contact with poison ivy, or if you think you do, those clothes have to go in the wash. Also, you've got to clean yourself off really well. Use rubbing alcohol, don't use soap. Soap can actually spread it, but rubbing alcohol will get it off you. You don't necessarily need to touch poison ivy yourself. It can get on a family pet, and then you touch the pet, and you got poison ivy. Even worse, after you touch your pet and it's on your hand, you can touch yourself and give yourself poison ivy in lots of places. So be very careful with pets, with anyone who's been outside in the woods. Another issue is burning. Burning a poison ivy patch to get rid of it is not the best idea, because the oils go off on the smoke, and that can cause big problems, not only on the skin, but also in the lungs. Experts differ a little bit. Most people think that the first 20 minutes is probably the best time to try to get it off the skin. And again, that's the best time to get that rubbing alcohol on it, get out of contaminated clothes and get them in the wash, and be aware of tools and shoes and anything else that may have become contaminated, clean them off as well. There are a few things. The best is obviously avoidance and also being careful with your pets. Another important concern for those who have to be in contact is to use a pretreatment like Ivy Block, which has an active ingredient called Quaternium 18 that can help many people, can help prevent them from getting the reaction. Treating poison ivy can be tricky, especially with these more aggressive, newer versions. Topical steroids can be effective if they are strong enough and applied often enough. For patients who have very severe cases, maybe involving the eyelids or other areas that are harder to treat, sometimes systemic steroids are needed as well. A couple giveaways are number one, if you and your friends all got it, if you and your short-haired pet got it, if you've been hiking in the woods and you got it, there are certain characteristic ways it looks also. Often it'll be streaky because a leaf brushed past you, so it'll look like a series of itchy scratches on the skin. They can all look very similar. There is a so-called rule of three where poison ivy and poison oak will often have three leaves. However, there are variants, and poison sumac for sure, that can have many, many leaves in a single cluster. So there's no really great way to say for sure that a given plant is safe to touch. Just go outside, have fun, be careful. If you're gonna be in the deep woods, try to keep your skin out of contact with leaves in general. And if you notice any itching, get home right away, wash it off with rubbing alcohol, get the clothes in the wash.